welcome back in this video we are going to see how to create an internet gateway <clears throat> in the previous video we created a VPC and we made subnet and that that is a box subnet is an VPC they are box within a box but if if you were uh, if you remember that we wanted to run an EC2 EC2 inside that uh, subnet uh, but if it's a uh, it doesn't have a way out then nobody can talk to it like uh, if you were uh, we were going to if we were to go and host a website nobody can talk to it because it's inside a subnet so we have to create an internet gateway that is going to be a door for all of the outside traffic to come and talk to our web server inside that VPC and subnet so that's uh, why we are creating an internet gateway let's get to it so the internet gateway right here I'm gonna click on it there are two by default something we're not gonna worry about that we're gonna create our very own so click on this we're gonna give it a name tag so let's see I dash gateway and again it's just uh, tagging and all that not gonna worry about it and that's it so that internet gateway has been created now right now it's detached meaning it's not attached to any uh, VPC so we're gonna attach this one to the our VPC let's see we can attach to VPC right there so we're gonna go here and we're gonna select the name so that's my high VPC if you remember from the previous video I'm gonna attach it to this one I'm gonna actually copy this name so you can go and check there attach internet gateway and it says it is it has been attached so if we if I click on your VPC we can see that right there uh, which one it is actually so 70 it's this one so it's uh, this one did not show up for some reason maybe because it's exactly the same settings so we can disregard that but right now we do know that uh, the internet gateway that we just created has been attached to this VPC so this VPC I'm gonna delete this one mm let's leave it over here for the future videos so basically this VPC has a gateway now that uh, we just created so that's how you create the internet gateway in the next video we're gonna see how to create a route table and attach it to our public subnet so you know the routing can go and do its uh, thing let's uh, wrap this video here and see you in the next one